Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In this video, M5 paper and touch sensor in UI flow, I got this great comment from Rutger. He wants to see a real life scenario where I use buttons on the M5 paper to turn things off and on using MQTT. Well, I'm going to do just that in this video. We're going to use the MQTT broker add-on in Home Assistant to turn my Ender 3 3D printer on and off. I was in the middle of editing this long video about installing Home Assistant on the Raspberry Pi and configuring the MQTT plugin. And you know, I hadn't really actually figured out how I was going to use MQTT to turn my Ender 3 3D printer on and off. So let's go take a look at that. So you see I have Home Assistant installed on my Raspberry Pi 4. Tertiary is a smart Wi-Fi outlet and it's switched on. That's where my Ender 3 3D printer is plugged in. You can see I just triggered the M5 paper button on action. And let's see how we did that in MQTT. In configuration, under integrations, here's the MQTT add-on. And you see I just published the payload on to this M5 paper button one topic. You can both publish and listen to topics in this add-on. So now we're listening to button one. You see that the Ender 3 is on and it's checked in with MQTT. And you see the button on action was just triggered. And here on the M5 paper, you see the Ender 3 3D printer is connected. Let's take a look at this action. M5 paper button on monitors MQTT topic M5 paper button one. And if the payload is on, then it's going to take the action of switching on the device named tertiary. There we go tertiary on and we see that it worked here on the dashboard the switch is lit for tertiary now let's trigger the button off action using MQTT there we go I'm sending the off payload and you see here we just detected it while we were listening here in the MQTT broker. We've sent the off payload. The tertiary smart outlet is turned off. And you see we just triggered the button off action. It's going to take a few minutes for the MQTT broker to decide that the Ender 3 is off. There, you see it in the logs just now, and you also see it on my M5 paper. The Ender 3 is disconnected. So there, I just showed you how to use actions with MQTT to turn devices on and off. Be sure to stay tuned for my video about installing Home Assistant on my Raspberry Pi 4, and you'll see all the details about getting MQTT set up. And I'm also going to make a video about putting buttons on the M5 paper that will trigger publishing MQTT topics to the broker on the Home Assistant. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.